Welcome back. We just got tile blockers. Is that hype or what? Um, naval capacity. Kind of need it. Like, it sounds stupid. But plus 10% naval capacity. Considering our place in the universe and considering our fleets are fairly weak, uh, we kind of need that. Or else we're going to crash and burn. My god, they got 20, 2200 fleet power. How about these guys? 31. And there's another 300 here. And there's another 800 there. So that's like 5k. That's not very good. Uh, let's get... Let's get these tracking units off the radar. What would be really nice here, you know, if you could just... Hey, click and like track all on the tab rather than on the thing. Cybrex has got two of those left to do. Resource-wise, we're looking pretty strong. Hyderia is going to get a spaceport. You, sir, are going to get... Oh, yeah, Batharian Stone is second tier, isn't it? Yeah, so we need to get a planetary administration going, which means we need food. Um, I'm going to build two tiles of that. And energy plants, we're just going to build right off the bat. Well, actually, our economy is looking pretty stable, surprisingly. Did we do the Batharian stone stuff? I don't see anything. Uh, not on this world, anyway. What do you want? Uh, ooh, yes. How much would this cost me? Too much. The influence is now down to minus six. But these guys are superior to us. They are receptive to us. And are they rival with anybody interesting? Yeah, just a... Uh, Abathy and Democratic Consensus, which is up here. I, mm -hmm. All right, construction ships. We should be able to do some more constructing now. There, ooh, there is mm, some energy out there. That's good. Mining stations, mining stations, ooh, mining stations. Do we get a leader that lowers our cost for research stations? Or did we get a, like a bonus uh, modifier for it? It doesn't look like it. All of a sudden, it is a lot cheaper. All right, Beauclair has finished its local construction chain. The Batharian Stone Reactor, pretty important. That's like six energy a turn. It's pretty huge. Who did we die? Uh, God damn it. One of my main researchers. Uh, let's put this guy on it. Because he is the one that has the correct things and stuff. Okay, let's uh, get you to assist research a little bit more. Okay, we're almost at 100 minerals a turn. Hyperlane mapping. Good. Wormhole generation. Yes. How long would that take? 55 months. Point point defense. Fusion reactor. Let's go with fusion reactor. Okay, good. If these guys are hyperlane based, there's only one place for them to enter, and that's through here. It's dangerous. Uh, they could also enter through here, but it does mean that our distance is pretty far. Not really too worried about that. These guys, they're not if they're not hyperlane based, it's not a problem. I know these guys are hyperlane based. They got only one point of entry, which is through here in this system. Uh, can I build a fortress? No, I can build a mil uh, a station. So the entry point would be right around here. How what's the Upkeep cost here, 43. So let's build a, a station here just in case. They are hyperlane based, so they will have to come through here. We'll see them coming because of the wormhole station that we have over there. At least until they hit, like, side jump drive and stuff like that. But that's not something that's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, food, zero. Let's just upgrade this one. What's this? Uh, did we just lose the deal? Uh, one mineral, four minerals. No. How about these guys? Did we lose the deal here? Monthly minerals, monthly minerals. Yeah. 
And these guys, they don't like us at all, do they? No. I'm going to go give them a trade deal anyway. Here you go. Let's just improve our our standings with these guys. Minus 45. Energy. Energy. Ooh, Batharian energy. Uh, this is actually looking pretty good right now. It's going to stabilize our uh, our energy production right now. So at least if we can get plus 25 or something along those lines. Uh, this Batharian reactor needs to be upgraded. It's going to be next turn. Uh, it's all being supported as well. Like we're gonna we're not getting any energy output out of it for some reason. I'm assisting research here. Uh, this one is getting plus three, plus zero, plus zero. Aurora. Do I have? Okay, so I, that's a science ship, isn't it? Yeah. So this one needs to go over here. Coil gun, second tier. Good. Uh, afterburners, mining network two. Okay, good. So let's go and do our ship design, and let's get second tier coil guns on there. It does mean that we may need to hand over one of the fission reactors. There we go. So it's a little bit weaker now, but the guns are stronger. So, and we, oh, God damn it, we can't upgrade this until we probably get cruiser technology or something like that. Uh, let's get a physics lab here. Physics were a little bit beef ahead of engineering. Engineering is generally pretty difficult to work with. I wonder how many people in the ch uh, in the comments right now are like, ah, god damn it, mine these damn mineral patches. There are so many minerals. And I'm just like, yeah, but my economy, yo, cannot handle that shit right now. Um there's another mineral patch over here that I could possibly just tap into, but I don't want to build another construction ship. This is be unproductive, really. Uh, the additional mineral return or energy return this is, would not be good at all. Um, lacking. Let's. Uh, we can't clear this. We can't afford it right now. How are we doing on food here? Four. Yeah, that's fine. These guys, food is fine. Iron Man, uh, food is fine. Plus seven on Batharian Stone is pretty, pretty riggedy, riggedy awesome. This is gonna, I think this is gonna be like my main research world. Like that's what this is gonna be. You're gonna move up there. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be my main research world right here. Like that feels like a good idea. Uh, hold on, research completes. Okay, uh, let's just get a little bit more out of this. Can't upgrade anything here. There's a naval capacity upgrade. Another naval capacity upgrade. My God, I'm not gonna go for it though. It's all about the tile blockers right now. And we could potentially start doing some minor expanding and into sectors and stuff like that. Uh, I just don't want to do it for the moment. There's some pretty risky stuff involved. Uh, this would be... Uh, it's a size 10. It's terrible. Size 13, also not that great. This could be a decent sector. This is minerals. Some social... I mean, this is a good social technology to planet, but... I'm not really keen on tapping into that yet. Hmm... Okay, you have built your, yeah, okay, so the defense station is already in place, but that's not going to hold off anybody for very long. It's only like 90. What do we got here? Yeah, it's got nothing on it. Oh, wait a minute. Did I never upgrade the, the platform designs? No, I did not, apparently. Construction complete. Uh, coil gun? Tier 2, thank you. And autocomplete? No, thank you. Okay, so we need to get another reactor on there. Yep. Now we're cooking with gas. Let's do the same thing over in Unity. Let's upgrade all this stuff. There should be another station over here. Yep. 
Okay, cool. No, it's all upgraded. And uh, basically anybody that flies in here is going to be like, why do my engines don't work? Well, it's something to do with the inhibitor field that I, uh, I managed to put up there. So, yeah, it's not good, is it? No, it's definitely not. Okay, minerals. We pretty much got all of this stuff. Still don't have access to this state, uh, system, which I desperately want. My god, it's so good. Fusion reactor. Oh, hey, remember that bit where we just started upgrading our shit just now? Yeah, it's, it's, we're going to do that again very shortly. Um, colony development speed. Sentinel point defense. So let's go into our ship designer again. Let's go into our Corvette. And let's start slapping fusion reactors on everything. And if we can get a shield... Yes, we can. Uh, any upgrades here... Nope, that's all ready to go. So we can upgrade our fleet. It's going to cost 300 minerals. It's about the cost of several Corvettes. Nothing that I shouldn't be able to handle. Uh, Batharian Stone still can't do that because of the way the reactors are handled. Let's just clear this. Okay. Yep, yeah, we can upgrade that. How we're doing on food. Not too good. Let's upgrade that. Minerals, you, sir, are going to be... We want to turn this into our research outpost, didn't we? Yeah. So we need a energy plant here first before we can do that. But yeah, Iron Man is basically research central. I have so many tiles here that I can just do whatever I want with, which is great. Uh, how are we doing on food again? One. Let's put you here. I will just upgrade one of the hydroponics base just for additional food. Hydernia. Solar power network. For some reason I didn't have that yet. It basically makes the uh, the space station free. Because uh, normally the upkeep is uh, three, three energy per month. But we're starting to get to the point where I'm starting to become comfortable with my situation. I'm still scared shitless. Because of these though, these guys up here, uh, they could they could walk in whenever they want. The Kroll Holy Empire. Who the hell are you guys? Oh, 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 oh. Fleet power equivalent. Okay, so I have a defensive pact with these guys. Uh, they won't go to war with me for a little while at least. So let's see if I can get a trade deal going. I'll give you minerals. How does that sound? Yes, trade agreement is good. That's what I want. If we can get a if we can get a research agreement here, that'd be swell. Very nice. That means I will get any research they already have done, I will get a fifty percent bonus on researching. Which is good. Uh, very good, actually. Also means that I can start building more mineral outposts that I so desperately need. I still have, like, 24 minerals sitting around in my territory that are completely untapped. I also want to start wrecking these here pirates. Oh. 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 These guys have just... Uh, <laughs> Decide to uh, go against these dudes. Ooh, yeah, month production targets. Yes, absolutely. Defensive pacts. Sirgog Star Sovereignty. Oh no. So basically, these these three are now all in the same defensive pact. Uh, if either one of these attacks each other, the other two will jump on top of uh, on top of that guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'll declare you my rival. You've declared me the rival. I will declare you my rival. Still stronger than I am. I, I feel kind of constrained. I am I am the weakest party on the block. So it feels, at least. I feel like I should be doing something about this. Which means I'm going to build my first sector. And uh, it's going to be Nova Constantine. <laughs> yes! Deus Volt. Ah, uh, that's glorious. All right, cool. So that's that's that one. 
Sentinel Point Defense, Wormhole Generation, uh, Research Alternatives. I uh, go for the Wormhole Generation stuff. Um, but yeah, and then we got uh, which one was it again? It was this one, wasn't it? Yeah. So that's Ishinada. Let's get this one colonized as well. Don't have much space to put it down, so I'll just put it down here. Palina, yes. So this system, th only this system is going to be the first of my, I'm sure, many uh, systems where I can build a uh, sector out of, hopefully. And I'm basically just wrapping up everything that I can that I can in terms of getting resor resources. Uh, I can I can stabilize my economy fairly quickly at the moment. Uh, this sector is just going to be energy, really. Uh, all my other system, all my other stations can work on the magnificence that is technology. That's where uh, these two planets come in, and Iron Man as well. They're all twenty twenty fives, so resource uh, like territory wise, they're pretty big. I'm still not with my stuff and things. Very annoying. This one just came into the fold as well, so we can upgrade that too. Yeah, but these guys, oh, so scary. Overwhelming fleet power. Superior technology, overwhelming fleet power. Everybody here hates each other's guts. Um, that's that's not very positive either. And the thing is, I can just declare rivals left, right, and center, and I will get huge amounts of influence for it uh, from rivals, 1.17. That's basically my main influence income at the moment. Uh, this is a tropical world. I do want to terraform this into something a bit more productive. Uh, once I get terraforming, that is. Um, energy should be fine for now. Let's get some more Corvettes. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Just to fill up the uh, naval capacity here and maybe get to 2,000 fleet power. Once again, the AI always cheats in these uh, these difficulty levels. They get more resources than we do, uh, which makes us better than them. Uh, we do have a lot more territory than they do, which is, I guess, positive, but whatever. Uh, bonuses to research. Don't I have a researcher for... Oh my god, look at this guy. He's got all the crazy statecraft ones. Okay, that's good. Oh no, my economy! Oh, that was a colony ship. This just moved out. It's to be expected, really. A uh, second colony ship will most likely fly out right after it. Um, so this one, right? What I could do is I could make a sector with this one as well. So what I'm going to do is colonize this one too. And then turn this into a sector. These these two these four systems. It's gonna be three planets, and they're gonna be fully focused on something else. Ooh, with Exeltech, the Galactic Victorian Commonwealth is now against Exeltech Republic. So there's a good chance that these guys will go to war with these guys. Hope let's hope so. Because then everybody will just jump on top of these fanatical purifiers because screw those guys. Just ruining everybody's sh everybody's sh everybody's shit. Ooh, my network three, destroyer. Okay, I can dig it. Let's go with destroyers. Slightly stronger. How we're doing here on energy? We cannot upgrade this one yet. This one is just building on an energy tile. Um, that's an energy tile as well. So let's get that here. That's an energy tile. We will upgrade Iron Man. Uh, what's this? Inefficient planetary management. Hmm. It's not very good. How are we doing on food? Plus two. And you, sir, are going to be a biolab. Beauclair has got some more energy to work with. They're all suffering from inefficient planetary management and happiness bonuses as well or like malices which is not too great uh, who's this okay now these guys have declared 
on their rivalry as well. Minus 17 minerals at the moment. Probably not the greatest. It's probably because of the double colonies that we're currently trying to get underway. Yeah, there it is. Minus 25. We can we can keep this up for a little while, but not for too long. Uh, I think I am pretty much mining everything that is not bolted to the ground. Hopefully. Okay, sorry about that. I got a message. Anyway, on that bombshell, I'm going to go and uh, drop it off here. And uh, the war is coming. The war is definitely coming. Some people don't like me very much, and other people like me a little bit. But mostly people hate my guts. So the Commonwealth of Man needs to survive. Carry on. 1600. Oh, God, we can't take that at all. Come man, uh, Commonwealth of Man needs to live on and be stronger. Until next time, take good care of yourselves and each other.